Good evening. Thank you for allowing public comment your meetings. Um, I'm here to talk about, uh, we've got on the Warren, or excuse me, have on the agenda tonight, Warren articles related to the master plan. And you also have an appointment with Charlie Preston, who is going to be speaking on E Street, I believe. I believe E Street, although I could be wrong, is the only Warren article related that might be related to the warrant. Is that, there, there, that true? There, there's a couple. Is there? Well, for me, E Street is very, very central. Um, and the reason is clear from my mind. E Street, while it's been said as a paper street, of course it's a paper street. That's paper, too. And that paper street is worth Charlie is being conservative when he says a million dollars because he's comparing it to a piece of property on Ashworth Avenue that sold for nine hundred thousand dollars and after it was fixed up probably cost about a million bucks but there's really no comparison we're talking about an entire street right in the heart of the beach town of Hampton has owned that for something like 120 years. There's no reason why we shouldn't keep, continue to own it. If we want to still allow a casino to straddle our street, even though it's a paper street, that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. We'll lease it to him. <coughs> I understand he's been paying taxes as if he owned the land, but that's probably not proper. We shouldn't be assessing him for the land he doesn't own. We should be charging real lease, probably equivalent to what he is paying in taxes. I'm not looking to generate revenue out of this. But my concern is that we've got a town manager that's sitting there saying, oh, it's just a paper street, it's not worth anything, when in fact it's worth millions of dollars, millions of dollars. And we have a developer who's <laughs> been characterized as uh, a, a localized version of Donald Trump, who uh, we're told, well, gee, he didn't know probably that there was this cloud on the deed. And I find that rather incredible to believe. I did some research earlier today in terms of uh, Mr. Lapoli's purchase and his current activities uh, from 2012 to date. And I see that back in uh, May of 2014, the Hampton Union was reporting that, uh, I'll quote the Hampton Union, Lapoli said part of his master plan's discussions with local officials would also revolve on how he can work with local officials to allow him to purchase all of the business, all the businesses that includes the water slide and McDonald's. Why does a person need to talk to local officials to buy private property? And while the discussions have been going on, we never hear about. We only hear, well, there's been discussions with, quote, local officials, with, quote, the governor, with, quote, state officials. But we don't hear anything about what those discussions are. But one of the things is clear is a $2 million giveaway of a very valuable piece of property for nothing, for absolutely nothing, $2 million plus for nothing. Charlie has plans to, to, to convert that into a public use, uh, some sort of rotary or entrance way or what have you. And that's one way of, of getting our value for our property. And I'm not opposed to it. And I'd like to look at more of the details of that particular plan. We're voting no on Article 38 is the only way we're going to get any value out of this. If people vote yes on Article 38, we're giving away Two plus million dollars worth of property for nothing for to a developer who who shares nothing with us. He has got grand plans of taking over McDonald's and another entire block all the way from all the way down to C Street. And he's got these master plans he's talking with local officials and we know nothing about it. And we give him away this one piece of property worth multiple millions of dollars. And just what leverage will we have when we're quote unquote negotiating with his great master plan. We're throwing away any leverage, realistic leverage that we have as a community. So 
So your master plan is going to be, <laughs> since the, the, that particular location, that casino, is basically the heart of the beach, your master plan is likely to, in all practicality, become little more than whatever Lapoli wants for his master plan. And you're going to have to work around it, whether you like it or not, whether you like his plans or not, whether they make sense for this town or not. You're going to have to live with it if you give away the leverage that this E Street represents. So I encourage you to, to, to suggest, as a board, that the community vote no on 38. I certainly encourage everyone in this planet to say no on 38. It's absurd to give away $2 million worth of property for nothing. Sorry to get a little passing on this, but it, it is so absurd to me. It just, it just, it just strikes my conscience quite, quite uh, terribly. So I'll just uh, sum up and say that I'm looking forward to listening to, as I listen to all your meetings on Channel 22, by the way, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more on Charlie. Uh, I've got a rationalhampton.com uh, has all the videos relative to this topic from the various meetings that have taken place. In fact, I made a special web address for that. It's uh, rationalhampton.com slash E Street. You can go directly to that Warren article with all the videos associated with it. And that will include tonight's meeting as well. Okay? So please, everyone, let's take a stand. You know, <coughs> vote no on Article 38 and encourage others to do so as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson.